Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you know us, you know that whenever we collect pins, we have this bad tendency of waiting forever and a year before we film a pin haul. And that's what we're gonna do today because we finally got to- Finally, our pin haul. <laughs> our pins have been sitting in our designated pin cup on Brett's bookshelf. We got these in February and March. We yep. started collecting them in February because that was when the beginning of our trip was. Hold on, but first, can we just stop and talk about how beautiful Brit's ears are right now? Oh, thanks. They are inspired by Belle, so her gold dress and her red rose, or the beast red rose. Some of you that are new to our channel, you don't know that we actually own an ear shop, and almost all the ears that you see in our vlogs or in our videos, aside from a few of them that are from some friends, they are mine in my shop, and it is Main Street Ears. The links will be down below, too, so check them out there. But moving on, before you were super nice, about my ears. <laughs> we are gonna just jump straight into these pins and show you what we got. And we're really excited because a lot of these we are just now seeing again because it's been, again, forever <laughs> since we have seen these. So I'm excited. We didn't get just as many pins this time as what we got before. We, we focused on we quality <laughs> instead of quantity. Quality, so, not quantity. Let's get started. I will start with. Me, 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 my, my. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, so our trip started at Fort Orleans. And if y'all know, every time that we stay at a new resort, except for our very first time, was <laughs> at Coronado, we always get a resort pin. And so this time we got the Fort Orleans Riverside. It is just themed around like the steamboat, which is kind of like the theme, the southern-ish Louisiana theme is the steamboat for Fort Orleans Riverside. So we picked that up. And this has been my favorite resort pin that we've got Because I really like the theme in a Fort Orleans. This was silver, so whatever silver price was probably nine ten eleven twelve your turn I'm just gonna grab this one Ooh, I should have let no, you no <laughs> that's my favorite one so this is probably not only Britt's favorite pin from the last trip we went on I'm pretty sure this is her favorite pin we've ever gotten before I love this pin so much <laughs> so this is limited edition for the flower and garden festival this year not only that this was the annual pass holder pin, so you had to be an annual pass holder. You're forgetting the most important part. It has segment on it. I was getting there. I was saving the best for last. I was just so excited. <laughs> I needed everybody to know that it has segment on it. It has figment on it. And figment is covered in like flowers. And he's like centered around the Epcot ball in a way. So and it was it's really so neat. so pretty. Like it it's is. just like smooth and oh, it's just. Yeah, it's you, pretty. It was $15.95 and it was limited edition of $5,000. You're looking at me like I thought I said something wrong. <laughs> no! Well, you did. You forgot Figment. You got the best one. There's some other good ones in here, I think. Mm. All right. where it hurts. <laughs> I stole yours, so you stole mine. Okay, so I picked the Pirates of the Caribbean limited edition, um, a piece of Walt Disney World history pin. These are probably the coolest pins that you can get there because whenever they do a renovation of a ride or some type of refurbishment, they get rid of anything or parts, they break them up and, and put them into pieces of pins into like a little bubble. So this little bubble right here actually has a piece of the original Jack Sparrow from the very first ride because they, if y'all don't know, they revamped Pirates of the Caribbean and they placed Johnny Depp as the pirate in it versus like some random guy. It has a piece of his shirt, the original Jack Sparrow shirt in it in this little bubble and it's really cool. And it has Jack Sparrow and he's holding a jewel of some sort and a goblet and it's really cool and it's like super thick and it was $15.95, and this one was limited edition of a thousand, I think. Of, uh, I'm getting old, man, I can't see. <laughs> of 1500, and this pen was $15.95. Yes! What is it? Yeah. Aw, yeah, I love so that So this one was too. my favorite, personally, of the Flower and Garden uh, Festival pens that was limited edition this year, because it's Sorcerer Mickey, and I love Sorcerer Mickey. That's Jared's favorite character. And he has like the two brooms on each side of him, and then the Mickey himself, like his ears, Kind of looked like the uh, Sorcerer Mickey topiary that they sit out with him. And of course he's wearing his bright blue hat. And the brooms, instead of throwing water, they're throwing plants. Yeah, it's so really, it's cool. really funny. And you didn't have to be an annual pass holder to get this. Anybody yeah. that was at, visiting the parks at that time could pick it up as long as they got to it before they ran out. Because what was this? About the only show? requirement for getting this was that she had to wait in line a really long time. Forever. <laughs> because that's really what we line. did. 
It was limited edition of 3000 And it was how much? $15.95. Um, this one is the, it's got two pins in it and it is limited edition Flower and Garden 2016. It has a Mickey and a Minnie and they're both like floral. It's really cool and we went ahead and picked this up because we kind of could get two for ish one. Ish. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> because it was $24.95. So it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones but it's still, I mean, they're really cute. And these were both limited edition of a thousand. So, yeah. I mean, it was really worth it to get these and they're beautiful. All right. No! <laughs> I keep getting all the ones for I'm <laughs> just gonna take this one over. This is the one I can't let you have. Well, you don't even like Well, then just go ahead and talk about it then. Well, speaking of. Dun, 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 dun. Cruella de Vil is my favorite villain. So, they had a limited edition villain set that was the Wonderfully Wicked villain set of pins and this was actually really hard to come across because we saw some pins in a case and I didn't even know that they had the Cruella de Vil one. They had a couple okay. other ones. They had like Maleficent, Ursula and stuff like that. The but normal villain there me. was none that you could just like walk up to a case and grab them. We asked the cast member behind the um, cashier place at, at Hollywood Studios and it's the store, I don't know the name of it, but it's basically where the Emporium is in Magic Kingdom. When you walk and, into the left. Yeah. And she pulled out this like case, this like plastic case, and it had all these like pins in it. And I was like, you were hoarding all the good ones. <laughs> we weren't even, I don't think, looking for this one. No. And I saw it and I was like, that, like one, oh, that, that one, that one. We were looking for another one that we got and I saw this one and you know, we ended up getting two extra ones because she had awesome pins yeah. and they were all limited edition. So sure. we got this one and it was $14.95 and it was limited edition of $3,000 and it is absolutely stunning. It is <laughs> by far my favorite villain pin. It might actually be my only villain pin. Yeah, so far. Yeah. So far, but it's going to stay my favorite one I think. It's really awesome. And because Brett got a villain, I had to get a villain too because that wouldn't have been fair. So, so uh, this one didn't come with like the paper cardboard it backing. It was just or floating whatever. around. It was in just her floating around box. randomly, but it's actually Ka from Jungle Book, which I had to have because I love Jungle Book. Yeah. And you don't see just a lot of Ka stuff. You never see any Ka yeah. stuff ever. I think it's, this is the only thing I've ever seen that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Ka on a pen. Like I have to have that. Like I want it. Give it to me. It was the same price, a limited edition of the same amount, three thousand as the other. Oh, it's so cool because it has like his little swirly like hypnosis thing in the background that he does. The next pin that we got, we actually picked up one that we kind of have one similar to. We picked up another pin and we went to Hoopty Doo because this year was a different year than we went last time and they had different ones and this year it was Chippendale and I love <laughs> Chippendale and I had to have this pin. Here's our one from last year. It is a Mickey and Minnie, you can kind of see it. But this was the one we got I think in 2014 and it was blue and this one was a different price this one was silver so i don't know which one was more expensive but i like the this time better, I think. um they changed it because this one is just on a plain back black one and it says disney parks collection so i don't know what that means but i like the chip and one and they're on a washboard this one mickey and minnie are holding a washboard but this one is an actual washboard with yeah. chip and Dale on it and they're so a little waving different. their napkin around like you have to do it's pretty cool i remember this one now this is the one we went into Hollywood <laughs> Studios for. Yeah, so we went in looking for this one, which is a limited edition pin. It has Aladdin on it, and it says Adventureland. Um, I don't know if it's a part of a special set or anything, but it does flip down. And when you flip it down, it has the camel in it from Aladdin, and it says Agrabah. It was $14.95 also, like most of the limited edition pins we got were. I think they were most of them were $15.95, so yeah. they're all like in that range. I was wanting to say this one was limited edition of not that many either. This one's of a thousand, so they didn't That's make really very cool. many of these. So this is the one that we had originally walked up to the cast member and asked her if she had one of the ones in the case. And this is the one that we were looking for. We found the, the two villain pins, so that was pretty cool. That was like a huge stop there. Okay, so our last pin is a Magical Montage 2016 limited edition pin, and it is a diamond with glitter in it, and it has Grumpy on it, and it's super cute. <laughs> And it opens up and the glitter moves in it. It's really cool. It opens up and it has Snow White. And I don't know where we got this at. I think we got it in Frontierland. That's where I think so. It wasn't really one that we were intentionally in, initially wanting, but I'm really excited that we got it. And this one was a limited edition of 3000 And it was $15.95. And it's really pretty because we have another Snow White one that broke that was limited edition. <laughs> so I'm excited that we got another one. All right, pals. That's it for our pin haul this time. We hope you liked it. We got some pins that we really, really like this time, and I think 
I don't know, some of those are gonna be hard to beat as far as anything yeah. being uh, more of our favorites than those. Because most of these we got because we really liked them and they were limited edition. We right. were trying to not just get them because we liked them. We wanted to make sure that they were ones that we couldn't get again if we didn't get them then versus just getting every pen that we saw that we liked or we wouldn't have them new suitcase coming home too which is good. Hope you liked our video. See you real soon. Bye. Bye.